Okay guys, so I'm finally settled into my place and I know you guys are all wondering, what does Grand Prairie Alberta even look like? Well, I'm gonna show you. Well, first off, a lot of my time spent right now is on Facebook Marketplace looking for furniture. But I think we found what we're looking for, which is a nice desk. Anyways, we're gonna pack up. I'm just gonna bring my Ronin with me and my camera, and I'm gonna grab the drone, and we are gonna go on a little tour. Okay, so right now I'm here at one of the bike parks here in Grand Prairie. I like riding bikes, and one of the first things I did was get myself a bike. Let's check it out. So I'm pretty exhausted right now. Got in my exercise for the day, and what a way to exercise, right? But I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of some of the rest of GP. As you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty after that good workout. That's why it's always good to have some good old Powerade so you can replenish those electrolytes. So far, my workouts have been free because this is a free facility. The only cost I've had to pay for is my Gatorades. So real quick, as the sun is setting, I'm gonna show you guys what downtown Grand Prairie looks like. I'm just gonna take a quick drive and head down there so you can see. So out here, it's kind of a medium-sized city kind of vibes. Interestingly enough, it's actually pretty diverse here, which you wouldn't expect from a random city in Northern Alberta. As you can see, downtown is a pretty small area but, I mean, if you come out here, you're not really coming out here for the downtown life. The downtown does look clean though, which is nice. It's actually clean and they're actually working on some projects right now where they're basically redoing a lot of the downtown core and making it look even nicer. It's a cool place to be, it's just there's nothing happening here. Now I know specifically for myself, one thing I was really concerned about was am I gonna be able to buy anything there? Like what kind of stores are really there in Grand Prairie? Like I just wanted to make sure that, you know, if I went out shopping, that I actually could go shopping. And luckily enough, this place does have pretty much everything you need. The only thing that I wish it had that it doesn't is a Machi Machi, which is a matcha drink shop that we have in Toronto and a Ikea. An Ikea would be super clutch as I'm trying to get some furniture to, you know, spruce up my place. But unfortunately, there is none here. The closest one is in Edmonton, and that's four and a half hours away. But right now, I'm driving through one of the main arteries of Grand Prairie, and I'm now going over to one of the shopping center areas in Grand Prairie. Is There's a Staples, there's a Walmart, there's a Rona, there's a Home Depot, there's a Canadian Tire. And what's actually crazy about the Canadian Tire out here is that it's the largest Canadian Tire in all of Canada. And I'm not making that up. Grand Prairie holds that as one of their key features. Maybe I'm exaggerating. I don't know if they hold that as one of their key features, but it is the largest Canadian Tire in all of Canada. One thing I will say about Grand Prairie is being this close to this much nature and so close to BC and the mountains, you see some beautiful stuff out here. Like the scenery is amazing. Unfortunately, with me taking up the drone right now, you're not able to see the mountains because there's a whole bunch of clouds and fog in the way. But on a clear day, you can see the mountains. So there's even a movie theater here. It's a Cineplex. It doesn't look the best from the outside, but the seats are actually like brand new. So I'm actually gonna go and see a movie right after this. It's 10.04 and the movie's at 10.30. I gotta go home, have a bath, and then come back. Which I should be able to do because I live like five minutes away. And that's the thing about Grand Prairie. Everything is so close, it's ridiculous. You can literally get from one end of the city to the next in like 10 to 11 minutes. 15 at the max. It is not at all like Brampton. It's way less dense, um, way less people. 
when I go to the movies, there's gonna be like nobody there. And that's great. It's just gonna be me and two other people. My movie is starting soon. So as you guys can see, this is the neighborhood where I live. There's a whole subdivision over on this side. There's some condos on that side. Okay, so we're back at home. I'm going to try and quickly have a shower. Okay, so I'm running a couple minutes late for the latest Thor movie, but it's 10.31. I'm gonna get there in maybe four minutes. I just got a little bit too comfy in the shower. And that's another thing about here. It's 10.32 right now and the sun is setting. The days out here are pretty long, which is cool in the summer, but in the winter, they're gonna be super short. Y'all can see the really nice hospital that they've built there, it's huge. And we're pulling up to the Cineplex right now. I think I'm still gonna make it. Okay guys, so that wraps up this uh, very quick episode. Um, just showing you guys what my evening looks like here in Grand Prairie. I hope I gave you some sort of insight as to what it's like out here, but I will be making a lot more content in the future, giving you guys a much better perspective with hopefully some more uh, cool things in it. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.